to the library. It's a place where I love to be. Look in a book, here's a story for you. Who makes stories when the day is through? Who makes stories when the day is through? Story makers, story makers. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers. Stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Byron Wordsworth. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers. Stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Come and be a story maker. Come on, everyone, it's time to go home. It's midnight in the library. Hello. Time for all story makers to come out. Are you ready? The sun is down, the stars are bright. Story makers come out at night. Hi, story maker. I'm Byron. Byron Wordsworth, here to make some magic and lots of stories. Oh, it's midnight and I'm so hungry. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, but Jackson, what? we could have a midnight feast. Oh, yes, yeah. that's a good idea, Jelly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, Jelly? Yeah? What is a midnight feast? Oh, well, yeah, actually, I don't know either. Mm, oh. But I heard the children in the library talking about I them. I see. Mm. Hi, guys. Oh, hi, hi, hi. Hi. I can be of some help. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, Byron, what exactly is a midnight feast? A midnight feast? Mm. It is, in simple terms, a mm. feast you have at midnight. Ah, oh, midnight, yes. I know that's when story makers come mm. out. The man in the suit says, Abracazoot. Oh, oh. What is it? What is it? What is it? Oh, oh, pizza! pizza. Oh, oh, nice. Just right for sharing at a midnight feast. Yeah. Yeah. But, but, Byron, there's only one and there's three of us. Oh, that's all right. I can eat it all. Yeah, but that's not fair. Now, that will make it fair. Oh, yeah. Then we can all have a share. Oh. Very good, Gels. Mm. Abracazook. Oh, oh, but now there are Pieces of pizza. That's right. Four quarters. Quarters? Mm -hmm. What's quarters? Mm. A quarter is a name for one of four pieces. Oh. One quarter. Yes. Two quarters. Yes. Three quarters. Mm -hmm. Four quarters. Mm. That's one quarter for you, Gels. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One quarter for you, Jax. Oh, well, thank Be careful. You, thank you, so, yeah. That's nice. One quarter. For me. Mm. Wow. Mm. Yeah, no, but Byron, there's one extra quarter mm. left. One quarter for the story machine. Oh, yes, Byron, yeah, good idea. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is it? One quarter of pizza for the story machine. Oh. <laughs> there it goes. Yeah. Now we need one more ingredient from you. Yeah. Your imagination. Yes. Are you ready? Imagine, 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 imagine a story. Come on, story machine. Come on. Oh, it's a playbook. Yeah. yeah. And it's called Making Pizza. Hooray. One day, Ebony and Jasmine's best friend Maisie came over to play. They played with all their favourite toys. Soon, their tummy started to rumble. It must be lunchtime. What could they eat? They looked and looked and looked, but couldn't see anything. Suddenly, Ebony spotted something on the side. Mmm, they wondered. What's that? In came Mum. Lunch is a surprise, she said but I need your help. 
Can you guess what we're making? We need to wait for this dough to grow, she said. How funny, they giggled. After a little while, it almost doubled in size. Mum divided the dough into three. She gave one third to Ebony, one third to Maisie, and one third to Jasmine. Then they all started to knead it, push it, and stretch it. Then they rolled it and made it into circles. Now, time for toppings. Jasmine put some tomato paste on her dough, some tuna, mushrooms, yellow peppers, and lots of cheese. Time to cook them now. Have you guessed what they're making? That's right, pizza! Everyone wanted to share the different pizzas, so Ebony cut her pizza into two halves, then four quarters. Maisie cut her pizza into two halves, then four quarters. And Jasmine cut her pizza into two halves, then four quarters. They all swapped their different pizzas. And there were three pieces left. Who were they for? They were for Mum. Mmm, yummy, scrummy, stringy pizza. Delicious! No, Jelly. I'm looking for halves. Look, there's lots of halves of fruit and vegetables here. Oh, yes. uh, look, yeah. half a sweet corn mm -hmm. and uh, the other half. Put them together. Boop, and yeah, <laughs> a whole sweet corn. Mm. Yeah, so two halves make a whole. Yes, two halves of sweet corn make a whole. Oh, sweet, sweet corn. corn. Mm. Yeah. Now, uh, but I don't think I'd like sweet corn on my pizza. Oh, I would. Oh. Yes. Now, um, what about uh, this? Mm. What? A banana? Yes. Now, shall we look for the other half? Yes. yes. Yeah. Right. Um, mm. and, oh, oh, here it is. So, oh. put them together. Boop, and <laughs> uh, let's put, put it, it in, in the, the story machine. machine. <laughs> <laughs> In it goes. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Well, will you help us make a story? Mm. Imagine. Imagine. Imagine a story. Oh, it's a blue cow story. And it's called Blue Cow and the Missing Calf. In a field not far away is a herd of cows grazing quietly. One of the cows is most unusual. Blue Cow wonders, wonders about the big world beyond her field. One day, Blue Cow heard a police siren in the distance. I wonder what it's like to be a police detective. She's off again, said the other cows. So, Blue Cow caught the bus that stops beside her field. I'd like a ticket to a place where I can be a police detective, please. There you go, madam. Hold very tight. And they set off for the scene of a crime. <laughs> and then they arrived. Blue Cow was standing by a shop which sold all sorts of tasty pies. A police car with flashing lights on top was parked outside. Inside, Yasmin, the shopkeeper, was sobbing. A policeman wrote things down in his book. Ah, oh, hello, said the policeman. No doubt you're the famous detective Philippa Mulo. Um, uh, absolutely, said Blue Cow. There has been a theft. Last night, someone stole half a pie. Ooh, tricky case, said Blue Cow. I must search for evidence. Where's the remaining half pie? Over there, said Yasmin. Blue Cow licked the remaining half. Ooh, cheese pie. 
pie, she said. Now what sort of thief would steal half a cheese pie? Blue Cow looked down and saw a trail of crumbs leading across the floor. Oh, clues! The crumbs led to a hole at the bottom of the wall. Mmm, come out! Come out, I know you're in there! A face peeped out of the hole. It was a tiny mouse. Please don't hurt me, said the mouse. Did you steal the missing half? asked Blue Cow. Yes, squeaked the mouse. But I had all these babies to feed and they were so hungry. You're nicked, said the policeman. Pleaded the mouse. How about this? said Blue Cow. If you promise never to steal any more pie, maybe Yasmin could give you the leftovers from the shop. <laughs> I suppose so, said Yasmin. After all, the leftovers only go to waste. The mouse and all her babies cheer. The Great Detective Philippa Mulo solves another case, said the policeman. Bravo! You never guess where I've been. Where have you been? I've been working as a detective and have solved the case of the missing half. Everyone knows cows can't be detectives. But we know they can, don't we? Uh, oh, Blue Cow is so clever. Yeah, she found the missing half. Yeah. <laughs> right, partners. Ooh. Now it's your turn to find the missing half. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. Well, what do we have to do? It's a memory game. Oh. Abracazoo. Oh, wow. <laughs> not too difficult. No, you just have to watch hard. Mm. Now, Gels, mm. ladies first. Mm. Choose two cards. Okay, um, I pick this one. Right, Gels. Mm. Uh, ooh, oh. the flower. Now, think mm. hard. Oh, the flower. Yes. I know where it is. I know where Are it you is. Sure? Yeah. Oh, yeah, show yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. It's at the top there. Yes. I know this where one? it is. I yeah. know. Yeah. Are you sure? Mm. Okay, yeah. Gels, yeah. Anne. Oh, oh well see? done. All right. right, now, yeah. because you got it right, Gels, you get to have another go. <gasps> oh, well, Do that's, I? that's the game, that's the oh, game. Oh, okay. okay, Gels. Um, I pick mm. the one right at the top over right there. Right over here? No, no, up, This up. one? Yes. Right, okay. Mm. Oh, an apple. An apple. Mm. Right, where do you think the other half is? Um, hey. Next to it. Okay, let's mm. have a look and... Oh, oh, sorry, Joe. No. It's, it's not that one, Jelly. <laughs> now, Jax, Mr. Is it Pink, Michael? it's your go. Uh, oh, that one on the end, please. Right, OK, Jax. Oh, uh, half an, an apple. 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 Right. Mm. And then that one, please. This one? Yes. Are you sure? Uh, final answer, <laughs> final. <laughs> OK, Mr. Pink and... <laughs> yeah! Yes, it's well done. It's an apple. It's an apple, right, Ooh. OK. You get another go Let now, go. Jax. Oh, you're so um, lucky. Uh, yeah, um, well, I would have that one. Please. This one here? Mm. Okay. Oh, half, half a tree. tree. Uh, uh, yeah, that one that there. One, that one, that one. This one here? Yes, please. Are you sure? Yes, please. All right, and Oh, well <laughs> done, Jack. So <laughs> you're getting good at this. Yeah. Okay, I think I'll have a go now. Yeah, oh, okay. It's not too hard, is it? No. Let's have a look at this one and what you half a star, half by the star and mm. the other half. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> good stuff. You're both certainly thinking smart today, aren't oh, you? Yeah. <laughs> Byron, I've just had an idea. I'll keep them coming, Jax. Well, well, I wondered if we could put one of these into the story machine to make a story. Oh, <laughs> certainly. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, I hope we get a space story. Yes. Hmm. See if you can help us. Send your vibes to imagine a space story. Imagine. Imagine, imagine a story. Who do you think it's going to be? It's a Kevin the Spaceman story. And it's called The Dark Side.
Kevin and Spanner in space to explore, seeking out planets never heard of before. It was the middle of the night when the rocket landed. Ooh, uh, said Kevin. I can't see where I'm going. Ruff, ruff, agreed Spanner. I wish there were some lights here, said Kevin. As if someone had heard him, two rows of lights suddenly lit up a pathway. Thank you, said an astonished Kevin. That's all right, twinkled the lights. Kevin and Spanner set off along the path. It was much better now they could see where they were going. Is anyone out there? called Kevin, peering into the gloom. Ruff, barked Spanner doubtfully. I'm here, sparkled a voice. Hello. Hello, called Kevin. Where are you? There was a twinkling sound and a sparkling star floated down from the sky. Welcome to the dark side, said the star. Kevin gulped. Uh, how do you do? he said politely. Um, the dark side of what? The moon, of course, shimmered the star. Come on, I'll show you. Follow me. I'm very sorry, said Kevin. We'd love to come with you, but we can't fly. Woof, agreed Spanner. Who ever heard of a flying dog? That was plain silly. Of course you can fly, called the star. All you have to do is shout space. Kevin and Spanner looked at each other. It was worth a try. Space! shouted the two friends together, and before they knew it, there they were with the twinkling star flying through space. Wow! shouted Kevin. This is great! Keep close to me. There's a satellite coming, called the star. The satellite whizzed past, narrowly missing Spanner. Pardon me, called the satellite. Spanner started barking furiously. Look, said the star, the light side, and he pointed down to the moon. Oh, yes, said Kevin. Below him, he could see the rough surface of the moon, just as he had always imagined it to be. Spanner looked down, too. He couldn't see any bones, and he was beginning to get hungry. Time to go back, said the star. We don't want to get lost. Kevin agreed. They turned around and followed the star past planets and moons and landed back on the dark side. See you soon, said the star. Bye! The lights of the pathway turned back on. Good trip! They shimmered. Yes, thank you, said Kevin. Come on, Spanner, let's go back. I'm hungry! <laughs> We've spent the whole evening making some cosmic stories. Yeah. Is it time to go? Afraid so. Mm. If we stay a faction longer, the librarian will be here. We'd better skedaddle. Yeah, the, the story makers must be hidden away. <laughs> Dawn is upon us. The morning is nigh. We've made our stories and we bid you <laughs> goodbye. Story makers, story makers, working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, Come story back makers, soon. stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Thanks for helping. Bye. See you later, story maker.